Good afternoon, everybody. I mean, good evening. Definitely not doing any day drinking today. It's definitely, definitely evening. Uh, okay, today in the uh, Barrel Basement Bar, we have uh, the latest two barrel proof offerings from Elijah Craig. Uh, over here we have the C923 uh, that was just really well received by everybody. Uh, and then there was the whole laser code issue and uh, then people are, it's not so good or it is so good, but check the laser. If you've got the special laser, then it's even more special than, than other special ones. Uh, over here, we have the most recent, which is the A124, which is uh, just trash uh, uh, from what you hear online. Uh, so uh, let's talk about these two offerings and uh, you know what? It really only matters um, in bourbon what other people think about it. I mean, that's the important thing, right? So let's get right to the officials. I mean, the internet's one thing, but you can't trust the internet, but you can always trust print media because print media is not going anywhere. So I have the most recent uh, Whiskey Advocate. Uh, and when I opened this up, I had just bought this bottle of A124 and sort of thought, oh, maybe I have screwed up because I was listening to the internet. Uh, and then it had ratings for both the, the C923 and the A124. Uh, and I was um, sort of shocked at what they said. Let's start with the uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923, which comes in at 133 proof and an age statement of 13 years and seven months. Practically a teenager. This, if this was your child, you wouldn't like it at all right now. Uh, let's just be honest about that. Uh, this says, uh, this is the final batch for 2023. Vanilla ice cream, strawberry shortcake, and hints of grape jelly on a dynamic nose. I get some of the shortcake, not so much the, I, I do get some vanilla. Grape jelly. I, I do get some, I, I get a sweetness. I'll give them that. Um, but quite powerful and herbal on the palate with lots of heat as spiced oak and drying tennis tempers the vanilla and dark fruit. A flavorful, powerful whiskey, as always, uh, with the high proof, might not be for everyone, but ice or water, and the flavors abound. Okay. Herbal. I never really, in all the times that I've tasted this, I've had this for a while, I've had this since December, herbal never came to mind. Well, wow. What I will say is there is a, a sweetness in that vanilla on the palate, is definitely on the um, front part of the palate. Spiced oak, I don't know that I get that. There is heat, but the heat to me really comes in the form of the proof. Like it gives you that that warm hug sort of feeling. Um, and that hits late. And then the finish, I mean, I still taste the finish and it's, it's, it's thick, right? So, um, I did get some more of like the fruit, like a dark fruit in the, in the, in the front of the palate. Um, but I actually think that it, drinks below the 133 proof. Um, you can tell that it's got, that it's got proof to it, but it, it, it 133 is, it's pretty high. And I don't think it drinks like that. I think, um, I think it drinks pretty good.
Yeah, I don't get a ton of oak. I just don't. But it's, <laughs> I will say, this is a, a difficult bottle for me to have because I always want to drink it. Like as I look through, I, I do this thing. Every bottle I have is open. I don't hoard things. And when I look through the bottles, I'm like, oh, I need to grab that one. And, I, and I'm sort of wanting to hold on to it so that I can compare it about, can compare it against other offerings. But it's kind of like I have this, um, I have a Heaven's Door that is 120 proof. It's a store pick and it's delicious. And man, I, you just, this one I feel like I can go to more because it's a store pick and there's always, I've yet to have a Heaven's Door store pick that wasn't amazing. Um, but this one, I mean, this one's gonna be gone. And I don't, like you'll find out the they're all very different. Every store pick I've had of this has just been awesome. We won't talk about the homesick blues right now, though. Okay, now let's come over. Uh, I'm take just a little bit of water here. Go Huskers, by the way. Okay, now let's take a look at the Elijah Craig 10-year-old uh, barrel proof batch A123. And this is coming in at a measly uh, 119 proof. And 10 years old, it's a baby. Are you kidding me? It's still losing teeth at this age. Um, okay. The first of three annual batches, aged oak leather, chocolate, and lively cherries on the nose. Hmm. Lively cherries. See, this is where it it does not have the same nose as this batch. Hmm. As I say, leather, chocolate. I don't get a lot of really any of that. I get a little bit, and, and, and I think people are going to think I'm nuts, but I get a little bit of like a, the same sort of nuttiness a little bit, not as pronounced, but a little bit like a Baker 7 sort of um, nose on it. Hmm. Well, there's a little bit of, a little bit of cherry in there. I don't know how lively it is. All right, let's talk about, uh, let's see what they say about, uh, uh, okay, a big, robust whiskey, chewy and thick with dark chocolate and caramel flavors. Water or ice will tame it. Um... It does say, okay, water or ice will tame it, unlocking more of those integrated flavors, accented by orange and berries, baking spice, tart herbs, and pepper. Generous marshmallow, chocolate, caramel, and mellow oak, and a very long finish. I don't, hmm. to me, the spice is way more prevalent than this review, um, which is, okay, so the heat on this one comes in the proof and it comes at the end of the palette. It comes in the back of the palette um, right before the finish. This has spice to it. I get that black pepper, but I get it right away and it's got the heat right away. It doesn't come from the proof, it comes from the taste. Um, I, I don't think the finish is exceptionally long, 
And I don't think that it seems really, really thick. And probably just because I talked about Baker 7, it the finish to me has more of a a little bit of a Baker 7 sort of um, Jim Beam profile finish. And that changed there right at the end. A little bit. To something else. Um, but definitely, definitely spice. Like, I, I'm surprised it didn't start with, with spice. Uh, instead, this chewy and thick with dark chocolate and caramel flavors. I didn't get any of that. And then I'll talk about pepper until the end. If there's oak, it's mellow. I don't taste a lot of oak. Um, so I don't get that. Okay, so the rating. The rating of this one, uh, Whiskey Advocate, the Whiskey Advocate, um, rated this at 93 and this at 92, um, which I think the internet will probably freak out about. Um, I do think this one is better. I'm sort of with the internet that the C923 is uh, pretty special. Uh, and the laser code on this one, for all of you that are wondering, is A22231037. Is that the good one? I don't know. Um, is that the reason why I like it? Who's to say? Uh, I don't think that matters. I think that's a bunch of BS, but whatever. The, does this have a laser code on it? Yeah, it's A something. Who cares? Nobody likes this anyway. Um, I do like it. I, I am glad I got the bottle. I think I paid more for this one than this one. And uh, that is kind of backwards, but that's the way things work sometimes. Uh, I think the price that I ended up paying for this was like, I, don't, I can't remember it was 85, but I think it was 85. I think I paid 79 for this one. Um, I, I do believe you're gonna find this for $75 all day long. Uh, I was just at, I can't remember if I said this in the video yet or not, I was just at a lottery at a grocery store, liquor store thing, um, at where everybody left and they still had these on the shelf. Um, so I don't think these are going to go crazy and have huge markup on them, uh, like this one does. I think that this one, if I saw another bottle of this for $100, I would really have to think about purchasing it for that much. I don't really ever buy things that are above MSRP. Um, it's just not my lot in life. Um, but I wouldn't probably pay $85 for another one of these. I think that this is probably going to, you know, I, this one, I think I'll have no problem letting sit uh, in my counter and not drink it all the time. This one, if I could find another bottle, then this thing would be gone uh, within a month and I would go on to my backup bottle. Um, so they're, they're a little different that way. I don't regret buying this one. I think this one is good. Um, it's different. Um, I really like that it sort of shows the difference between the two of them. I don't think the age statement is as big a deal as everybody says that, you know, uh, you know, 10 years now we're going to have all of these t low year bottles. I, I think it's still a great bottle at 10 years. So I don't have an issue with that at all. And, you know, like the last Baker's seven I had was like almost 10 years and this is seven years. And I think they were both great too. I think sometimes we get a little crazy about age statements. What does it taste like? Um, and uh, I like them both. This one better than this one, but I think they're both great. So once again, my opinion means nothing and you've wasted all of your time watching this because it only matters if you like it. Um, but if you're looking for a reason to buy this bottle, there are plenty of reasons to buy this bottle, but if you see this poor thing sitting on a shelf, only 10 years old, orphaned, and nobody wants it for $75, buy it. It's, it's, it's an excellent bottle. So if, uh, I can, you know, encourage you to buy another bottle of bourbon, um, then I guess I've done my job. So. Uh, thanks for coming on down to the uh, Barrel Basement Bar, or whatever I'm calling this now, and I uh, hope to see you again. Uh,
barrel bar, we have uh, two a lane. Uh, maybe, maybe shouldn't have done some tasting before I started this. Mm -hmm. 